Okay, in this segment we will be looking at hypothesis testing. A hypothesis test for the mean with the population standard deviation sigma known, which is the Z test. There's a lot to this, and most likely what I'm going to do here is to break this video into two parts because it is so long. So let's, uh, let's begin by reading the problem. The breaking strengths of cables produced by a certain manufacturer have a mean, mu, of 1,900 pounds and a standard deviation of 85. Now it is claimed, there's key text there, that an improvement in the manufacturing process has increased the mean breaking strength. To evaluate this claim, 50 newly manufactured cables are randomly chosen and tested and their mean breaking strength is found to be 1,929 pounds. Can we support, at the 0.1 level of significance, the claim that the mean breaking strength has increased? Assume that the standard deviation has not changed and then we will perform a one-tailed test and we'll work through the entire process. Now, you've already been through the section here which is entitled getting the uh, null and alternate hypotheses and so what we need to do now is to uh, I'm going to pause and get that done you can do the same thing and then we'll uh, stop and check it okay now we will notice here that the uh, claim in English notice that the claim is that the mean has increased now we have to uh, read between the lines here a little bit and add to this as well because they've told us what the mean used to be so if the mean has increased then we have to interpret here uh, the claim that the mu now is greater than what it used to be which was the 1900 the opposite of that is that now it's less than or equal to 1900 and of course then we establish the null and alternate hypotheses so we can go ahead and put that in over here in Alex notice here that we are claiming that the mu is greater than 1900 and uh, obviously that's not right because the alternate hypothesis or the mean uh, has to be H0 has to be listed first so we've got to go in here and put these in out of order to make Alex happy alternate hypothesis is greater than 1900 so we have to be sure to get that okay now notice while else uh, while we're in here that the uh, this is a p-value test and so we have to be sure that in our problem here that we are using the p-value uh, form for this so we've got to be careful there and of course the next thing we need to do is calculate our test statistic well since this is a mean with sigma known what we're going to do is to consult with our formula sheet here and uh, in our hypothesis testing forms notice that we have on the pink chart the uh, formula here mean with population standard deviation known is a Z test notice the formula begins with a Z and so we're going to use that formula. Let's go ahead and get that copied over there and find the givens. And so uh, you do that, I'll do that, and I'll meet you back here in a second. Okay, I've got some of that done now. Let's go back and check that. Notice here that uh, the first thing we do is to write the formula step. The next thing we do is to write the givens. I set those up over here. You can check those and uh, compare those to the problem to see where those are coming from. What I'm doing now is I'm plugging those numbers into the formula. You can see that here. Now on my TI-30XS, you can see that I've got that uh, set up to look exactly like what I've written on paper. And now I calculate my answer and turn that to a decimal. And so you can see here that my test statistic is 2.4124. And of course we want to see what Alex wants for that. So let's hop back over 
and see what they're asking us for. Obviously our type of test statistic is a Z. The value of the test statistic to three decimal places is a 2.412. Okay, so let's, uh, let's move on from there now. And at this point, let's go ahead and stop and we'll move ahead to the second part of the video.